In this video of plant physiology, we will be discussing about leaf senescence. We know in simple terms that senescence defines the gradual deterioration of tissues, organs or any part of living organism. It's one of the phases in developmental processes. So to define leaf senescence, we say it is the process where there is gradual deterioration of leaf through complex molecular mechanisms. It is the final stage of leaf development and is critical for plants in order to conserve the nutrients and to relocate the sugars to the reproducing seeds. As we have already said, this is a complex cellular and genetic process, so this leaf senescence is mediated through a specialized genes called SAGS, S-A-G, that's senescence associated genes. To classify the senescence process, we see it has got two types. One is the age-related developmental senescence. And the second one is dark induced senescence. The age related developmental senescence is mostly profound in plants, and both of these leaf senescence processes are initiated by phytohormones. It is mostly the ethylene hormone which mediates the leaf senescence, but other hormones like jasmonic acid and salicylic acid also mediate the leaf senescence. But ethylene remains the primary phytohormone for leaf senescence in plants. Now let us discuss the age-related developmental senescence first. In this pathway, first the presence of ethylene molecules activates the ethylene pathway itself, with which the EIN2 is released from the endoplasmic reticulum. And then this EIN2 is translocated to nucleus, where it activates NAC transcription factors. NAC is the name of three genes. First is the NAM gene, second one is ATAF gene, and, and third one is CUC gene. NAM stands for no apical meristem, ATAF stands for Arabidopsis transcription activating factor, and CUC is acronym for cup shaped cotyledon. Furthermore, we see these NAC transcription factors further activate the ORE1 gene, which itself is also a NAC transcription factor. So we can say one NAC transcription factor activates the other NAC factors. Mostly in Arabidopsis, we see it is the ATAF factor which activates the ORE1 gene. And it must be noted that ORE1 gene is the chief senescence promoting factor in Arabidopsis. So from this gene, ORE1 gene, the senescence will be regulated. The ORE1 gene activates several genes that directly promotes the leaf senescence. First, we see the ORE1 antagonizes with the transcription activity of two genes, GLK1 and GLK2. Basically, it halts the GLK transcription factors, thereby no GLK genes are getting expressed. And we know these GLK1 and GLK2 genes are chloroplast maintainers. So when these chloroplast maintainer genes remain unexpressed, that leads to chloroplast deterioration, which further causes photosynthesis inhibition that leads to the leaf senescence. So this is the first pathway. Then we have another activity of ORE1 gene. It also upregulates the expression of BFN1 gene, that's bifunctional nuclease gene, which causes nucleic acid degradation in leaf that ultimately leads to leaf senescence also. The third pathway is that ORE1 also activates SINA1 gene, that's seven-in absentia gene. This SINA gene codes for ubiquitin protein ligase, which mediates the ubiquitination in leaf proteins, thus leading to leaf senescence also. There is another protein, namely sweet peptin protein, whose transcription is upregulated by ORE1 gene. This sweet peptin protein is a bidirectional sugar transporter that relocates the sugar from leaves to seed embryos, thereby promoting leaf senescence also. Now finally we see in order to maintain the leaf senescence process, the ORE1 is upregulated another way also. We see EIN2 also activates EIN3 molecule. And this EIN3 protein represses the expression of MIR164. And the repression of MIR164 gene leads to expression of ORE1 gene because both are antagonizing each other. So continuing the leaf senescence process in this way. Now let's have a brief look at dark induced senescence. Here we also see the ethylene biosynthesis promotes the leaf senescence. The ethylene further activates and upregulates the PIF4 molecule, that's phytochrome interaction factor. We see PIF4 binds to E-box region of transcription factors like GLK1 and GLK2 promoters are getting inhibited. So when GLK1 and GLK2 promoters are getting inhibited and their transcription is halted with which the GLK genes remain unexpressed. 
which leads to chloroplast deterioration also that results in photosynthesis inhibition and leaf is synthesized so this is all about leaf senescence and its pathways i hope you like the video if you like it give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe this channel thanks